It's Group Therapy on the Y94 Morning Playhouse. Well, in Group Therapy, today Mary has something she wants to run by you. Is she maybe being a little too forward on her dates? Can you kind of set this up, Mary? Okay, so I am having some issues with my dating life, and I can't tell if I'm, like, self-sabotaging. I watch, like, a lot of Love is Blind, so I've been kind of, like, throwing it all out there on the first date of being, like, do you want kids? Like, where are you at? Like, marriage, the whole deal. And my friends are like, oh, my gosh, slow your old girl. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You are scaring everyone way too quickly. But, like, I just don't want to, like, waste time, you know? Um, so am I – Am I wrong here? What am I doing wrong? So basically, are you hurting yourself by being too straightforward, too like, this is what I want and this is when I want it? Right? Right? I just got to know. Clearly, you are. It's not working out for you. Uh, you know what? Accurate right there. Let's yeah, just, accurate. Let's just base it on how the dates have gone. You're not in a committed relationship, so I'm saying, yes, you're being too forward. I'm all about it. I get it. You don't want to waste time. However, maybe the first date is just you seeing if you get along with this person. Is this something, can you see yourself dating this person? Then you can go into the, can I see myself having kids with this person? Slow it down just a little bit. Can I put you on hold for a few minutes, Mary? So you'll still be able to hear the radio. And then after we get some feedback for you, we can talk again, okay? Is that cool? For sure. All right. So 237, it's call or text. Is Mary being too forward from the sounds of it? on her dates, kind of trying to assess if they want to get married to Mary or just in general on the first date. Do they want kids? How many? What? I mean, how many bedrooms of a house should we get? Should I get on Zillow right now? I think it's all in presentation. There's probably a better way to ask those same things. How? Hey, where do you see your life going the next five, ten years? You know, this is a date, not a job interview. But you could just work that into conversation. That's a lot less weird. Like, all right, so uh, so I'm going to have, um, I'll have the filet mignon. Uh, also, how many kids do you think you're going to have someday? Do you like kids? Do you want kids? Like, there's an easier way to weave that in. So you think she's not being too forward. She's just not doing it the right way. I think you're presenting it wrong, which is the case with most things. You can have most conversations. You just need to be a little bit more careful how you present them. Otherwise, you're terrifying. I disagree. I think it's too soon. First, you just need to see if you get along with this person. Find out things about this person. What are their interests? Can you even be friends with this person, let alone have a relationship with this person you're jumping in too fast you're a very direct person so i don't think you'd be capable of what i'm suggesting if i'm being honest what does that mean you're a very blunt forward person everyone knows exactly how you think and how you feel about everything you have to be i don't want to say manipulative but you have to be sneaky you can work anything into a conversation if you just slide it in okay what do you mean if i'm too forward myself yeah i get all the answers i want this is true. And she's not getting the answers. You're also a tough case, too, though, because I think you and Steven had, like, your future planned out on date one. But see, that, it worked out for us. I could read the vibe. I was getting to read know the him. the room. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking? Is she being too forward? You know, uh, I think if that's what she's feeling to bring up, you know, uh, just go for it. Just go, go with your gut. That's what she wants to talk about. If it's not the right person, it's not going to happen, you know? And that, I think, so far has been the experience, kind of like Amy said. Yeah, and people are saying, yes, she's being too forward. Don't lay it all out there on the first date. Gross and ick. Uh, Someone said, find your common ground. Stop diving in so fast. You need to get to know each other first. And that's what I think. Get to know each other, and then you can be as forward as you want. I want to have six kids. How many kids do you want? Then that's fair to say. Do you think we're glossing over one thing she just kind of buried in there? Did she or did she not say that she's doing this because she watches a lot of Love is Blind? <laughs> well, I think that's what's kind of messing with her. On yeah. that show, it is quick. You need to find your partner and then you go off to Mexico or wherever they send you for that little honeymoon type thing after the pods. So that's why they're being so forward. They're opening up and they're putting everything out there. You're not in the pods, girl. This isn't Love is Blind. Generally speaking, you probably shouldn't take your like love advice from a reality show, but you should take it from the Y94 Morning exactly. Playhouse. And that's why we need you to call or text 237. It's that 701 237 4487. Do you think she's being way too forward trying to feel out the whole marriage and kid potential on date number one? Is there a better way to handle this? We had a- Chime in now. It's group therapy on the Y94 Morning Playhouse.
Yeah, dating is getting to know somebody, right? Trying to feel out if you like the person, if you see a future with that person. But there's prob- there's right and wrong ways to do that, I think, if we're learning anything. Yeah, someone said, guys usually don't think about that stuff the same way girls do, especially right on right away. He probably is creeped out. Someone else said they probably think she's a little psycho and pushy. Like someone mentioned that on a first date, I'd Usain Bolt out of there. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, we're doing group therapy. Talking with Mary. If you just got nestled in your vehicle or sitting down at work or something, here's like a quick 25 seconds as to what's going on, okay? Okay, so I am having some issues with my dating life. And... I can't tell if I'm, like, self-sabotaging. I watched, like, a lot of Love is Blind, but I've been kind of, like, throwing it all out there on the first date of being, like, do you want kids? Like, where are you at? Like, marriage, the whole deal. And my friends are, like, oh, my gosh, slow your old girl. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You are scaring everyone way too quickly. But, like, I just don't want to, like, waste time, you know? Um, So am am I wrong here? What am I doing wrong? Is there a better way to be handling this, do you think? That is a terrible dating strategy. Nobody wants to hear about marriage when they don't even know your last name fully. <laughs> like first date, come on, man. Yeah, a lot of people kind of echoing that, that she's got to be changing her way. In yeah, so many people saying you need to slow down a little bit. You need to get to know someone. Someone else said, I would at least ask, what's our baby's name going to be? Oh, yeah, sure. That's great. Yeah, slow down with that one. And someone else said, I agree with your friends. You are freaking the guys out. I get you don't want to waste time, 100%. But how you're doing it is just too forward. And hello. Oh, the initials are B-S-C. Crazy. Oh, so she's yeah. a little too much. No, anyway. But no, I think it's crazy. If I was a guy dating her for the first time, I would run as fast as I could. Run, 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 run. Good morning. It's group therapy. What do you think? Is she handling this a little bit too forward? You don't want the person to think that they're just a check mark on the list of things to do in their life. You want them to know that they're being seen for them and that there's space being made in your life for them. So if you've got this like hard and fast checklist, then where does that person fit into your life? Uh, Sure. Yeah. We're getting a whole lot of people saying that maybe you don't want to be showing them your Pinterest wedding board on date one, huh? Someone said, I would say she needs to learn a little foreplay. And someone else said, I would be creeped out as a guy. I understand your idea of thinking and not wanting to waste time. But think about if the roles were flipped. It would be so weird for all this to happen on a first date. And someone else said, love is blind works because they all feel the same way. They're all looking for marriage. So you'll eventually find someone who feels that way, too. Yeah, I do think, honestly, you could keep doing what you're doing and probably eventually find someone that is of the same mindset of you. And like, oh, finally, someone that wants to get married next summer. Hooray. You could probably very thing. You're probably coming on a little strong. We are getting that from people. Oh God, I wonder how many guys have totally just like scared off. That could have been like the guy, you know. <laughs> right. Thank you. But, but you know what? If he was the guy, you wouldn't have scared him off. That's exactly right? it. Yeah, you're focusing on it wrong. If it was supposed to work out, it would have worked out. It, it will eventually. Just maybe don't come on like so intense. <laughs> Slow down a little bit. Get to know them. Like that person said, you can't talk about marriage when you don't even know the person's last name. Find out things about this person. Get to know their friends. Meet their friends. Then you can talk about marriage. Next date, Mary goes on. So what's your last name? Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, Also, do you want to marry me? Slow down. Good luck with everything, though, okay? Thank you.